Hello, in this presentation we will restore a backup file for QuickBooks Pro 2018. This will be the backup file that will be our practice file we will start working with. It will be eventually the file that we will create. So we're going to get used to navigating around the QuickBooks program using this practice file. First step to that is to restore the practice file. Once you have QuickBooks set up, you should have an icon that will be QuickBooks Pro 2018. The backup file we will be using is a 2018 backup file, and therefore we will not be able to restore this backup file to anything prior to 2018 software. If you're restoring a different type of backup file, as long as you're restoring to a, a QuickBooks program that is later, then in addition, then the backup file, typically you'll be able to restore the backup file up to the newest version that you are using. However, once you do update the version, you can't then go back and restore that backup file to a prior version. So in other words, you can take an, a backup file from an older edition and upgrade it when you restore it to a newer version. However, you cannot then take that backup file and then go back to an older version and restore it back to an older version. So keep that in mind. If we're working with uh, 2018 and these uh, data files, then we will be okay. Quick look at the data files. They're going to be, I have mine stored here. Note that when we look at the data file, we are looking at a backup file. So when you store your files, you got to make sure what type of file you're looking at. There will be two of them. One will be a QuickBooks file, and that's going to be what we're actually going to use to open. The other will be a QuickBooks backup file. These are going to be zipped type files. They're going to be smaller type files. They're going to be files that we need to restore in order to use those files. Therefore, the backup files, we cannot just double click on this file and open it because it's a zipped file. What we have to do is open QuickBooks and then go through the restoration process and then create another file here which will not be a backup file but will be a QuickBooks file. That's the process we will do now. I'm going to start that process by just double clicking on the QuickBooks program. When you open QuickBooks it may open to the prior company that you were working on or it may open to a screen like this. If you were working on prior companies it will show the prior companies here and you can jump to them directly and QuickBooks will find those companies on your computer and open them up in that format. We can use these icons down here as well. Create a new company. We'll do that later. Open or restore an existing company. We'll do that now, but not with that icon. And open a uh, sample file. QuickBooks does have some sample files that are useful to look through. We're going to use our sample file because it'll relate closely. It'll be the same type of problem we will work through when we start to build our example problem. I'm also not going to use the open or restore icon because I like to use the file tab up here. Reason being is that no matter what window you're open, the file tab will work. So the file drop down will be there whether you have a company open or not. And therefore it's, it can be used anytime. So I, I tend to use the file drop down tab. We're going to restore a company. So we're going to go to the file tab. We're going to go to the restore, uh, open or restore company. And then we want to make sure to take the second one, restore the company. We cannot just open the company because it's not a company file. It is a backup file. It's a zipped file. We need to unzip that file. So we will say next. It is going to be a local backup. That's what we're looking for, not an online backup. So we're going to say next. And then we just need to locate that backup. Now mine is on the desktop and I had put it into a folder called the Get Great Guitars section one. And here's the backup file. If it was not a backup file, it was a, if it were an actual QuickBooks file and I tried to restore it as a backup, it wouldn't show up here. I'd go to this folder and I wouldn't be able to find it because it would be a QuickBooks file, but it wouldn't be a QBB file, a backup file. It would be a normal QuickBooks file. This is going to be the backup file. I'm going to double click on that or you can click on it and select open. I tend to just double click on it and then go through the next process. What it's going to do now is ask you, well, where do you want to put the file? And this can be a little confusing because you're probably saying, well, I already um, have the file. It's right there. I just want to open it. But what it's going to do is it's actually going to unzip it and then 
create a new file uh, to open. So you're going to end up with two files, one a backup file, two a restored file. I'm going to put this in the same location, which is uh, QuickBooks will probably give me a, a little error for or, or a little message telling me that's not the wisest thing all the time. So we're going to say <laughs> get uh, great guitars. I'm going to put it into section one. And I'm going to save it here. Note that that I, even though I'm in the same location, that backup file is no longer here. Why? Because now I'm trying to save this as a QBW file, an actual QuickBooks file. So remember, that other file is still here. It's just a backup. Now we're going to put the actual file here. And once we go check that out, it'll have two files in there, a backup and the restored file, hopefully. <laughs> so we'll hit save. And it's going to go through the restore process. It can take a little bit of time. It does take a bit of time to... Um, Go through the restore process. QuickBooks is a, a fairly large, extensive program, even when you're working with files that don't have a lot of data. Once QuickBooks opens up, it generally opens up to the home page, and it looks something like this. And now we are ready to go and take a look at the home page and go through the processes of QuickBooks. We are in the Get Great Guitars problem, so we are first going to look at the problem with the populated data in it take a look at some reports, take a look at how the data entry works and how some of these flows work within the home page. And then we'll actually create a new Get Great Guitars problem and populate that data as we go and see how we can create a new company from scratch that will look much like this one we are reviewing here. It is important to note where we restored the backup and where our backups are at. So just to give an idea of what it looks like now uh, in terms of where these files are on the computer, we saved them to this folder. And so I'm going to go into this folder, section one, and here's the folder that they are in. You'll note now that I have a lot of activity here. I've got a couple things. Uh, when you restore the file, QuickBooks makes the main file type here. So if you were to just double click on this file, it would then open QuickBooks and open the program, this being an actual QuickBooks file type. Uh, so this is the actual file we have open. We also still have the backup file here. That's going to be the file that we restored. So note we now have two files, one being the backup, one being the main file that we are working on.